Today in the crypto space, we're seeing the market nice and green. Bitcoin right around that $70,000 mark and Ethereum still pumping to higher levels right around that $4,000 mark. The rest of the crypto space, the altcoins are deep in the green. We have Solana, we have Floki, Link, Stax, and many others doing pretty good here today. In today's video, I want to talk about the general market. I want to use Bitcoin as a leading indicator. But more importantly, I want to talk about one altcoin, one project that is looking pretty good from a risk to reward ratio opportunity. And that project is called Layer A. AI. So you know what? Let's talk about the news. Let's analyze the charts and let's strategize to capitalize. Welcome to the channel. My name is Mike and let's get right into it guys. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. On the channel we talk about cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, Ethereum and all the altcoins looking for opportunities. Whether we go up or down, bearish or bullish, it doesn't matter. All we want to do is stay one step ahead of the market so that we can capitalize on any of the volatility. And if you appreciate the strategy, subscribe to the channel, click the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos, including the live streams at 7:30 Eastern where we talk about crypto news and price action. Guys, if you have any problems, you want me to cover here on the channel feel free to let me know in the comment section below you can hit me up on the socials the links are in the description and of course guys join the discord the discord is where it's at lots of good alpha trade setups fundamentals and learning material all right guys let's begin let's see what's going on with this overall market we'll scrape through the top 100 we'll take a look at bitcoin as a leading indicator and then we'll jump right into the layer ai chart so far we see that the market cap is bouncing to the upside we're breaking out of the previous highs on the overall market cap hitting about 2.7 trillion dollars give or take we do see a bit of a bottom on this volume maybe we get another spike to the upside with regards to volume that would be pretty good to see obviously as we make higher highs on the market cap and we see the volume trend in the opposite direction we see a bit of divergence happening but it could definitely invalidate we can see an invalidation and continue continue seeing the price and volume continue moving to the upside We'll definitely keep an eye, uh, an eye on it. Let's move down. We have see Bitcoin moving up. We see Ethereum still grinding very, very nicely, slow and steady to the upside, up 25% in the last seven days. Obviously, outperforming uh, Bitcoin significantly in the last little while, almost reaching all time highs and getting into that price discovery phase. Uh, BNB doing pretty good as well, holding steady. Sometimes that's all we really need. Uh, Solana getting a bit of a bounce, 5%. Not bad there. Maybe found a, short, a, a bottom after the short return tracement anything ethereum based right now is doing pretty good a uh, slow and steady grind obviously i uh, know staked eth of course uh, dogecoin looking great still grinding to the upside toncoin kind of going sideways cardano getting a bit of life in the last little bit but nothing major just yet avax doing much better up not up four percent so the market is looking pretty green chain link doing great nine percent to the upside Chainlink is definitely on fire at the moment. Near protocol kind of still going sideways. I believe Near is just gearing up and basically charging up for another 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 pump to the upside, guys. Near protocol is a very bullish project. I'm expecting great things, but just understand that the current moment we're dealing with a, a, a very high level. Could we get a bigger retracement before we continue to the upside, guys? I really don't think we're going to get major retracements on Near protocol and for the entire market for that matter, given the fact that the altcoins have yet to see their season. So the chances are that we continue seeing a lot of green in the altcoin market. Uniswap looking good, still kind of going sideways with a slight retracement, but still looking okay as it kind of waits to see what happens for Ethereum. Pepe grinding, Polygon Matic layer twos should be doing well. Aptos doing well, 5% to the upside. Render kind of going sideways after a bit of a retracement. Of course, everything Ethereum based is looking good. IMX is doing great. Nice bounce to the upside. Still within structure, though. We got to understand that we're still within this structure, not making higher highs or lower lows. In this case, going sideways within a channel and then looking for an expansion out of the channel could happen any moment. Caspa still looking good, guys. This Caspa is looking like it wants to break out of the previous highs and continue running, guys. Hopefully, you got those entries that we've been eyeballing in the last little while guys i called a great entry here on caspa so if you got in congrats but i would be holding for a little bit longer because it looks like caspa is looking for a break or a continuation to the upside filecoin looking good filecoin looking for a breakout also maybe out of those previous highs continuation to the upside so we're getting a lot happening here dog with hat up 10 percent the market in general is definitely green. We have stacks, you know, running based off of Bitcoin. Bitcoin's looking okay, even though it's within a little range. 
it's still moving to the upside within that range so that's pretty good and then we're seeing stacks follow uh that lead of course optimism doing okay at the bottom i think optimism is looking for another pop to the upside v chain getting a bit of a bit of life but it's only three percent so maybe it's just the beginning are we've rolled rolling all the way to the downside and maybe getting a nice sign of bullish divergence here maybe it hit its bottom sui looking for a pop and you can see the market's looking primed the market looks like it might be wanting to get another move up okay Okay, so let's just be careful because we've been getting a, a bit of a retracement in the last 24 to 48 hours but now maybe we're ready to go and fulfill the destiny of the daily time frame and continue getting into overbought conditions particularly with momentum guys we've been tracking momentum epically here on the channel in the last little while to the point that now i feel like we should see some follow-through with regards to momentum and also the trend reversal floki is doing great man of the match 21 22 percent in the last 24 hours guys i would have never expected my floki bag to become one of my major gainers and one of my largest bags um if not the largest bag in my portfolio so this is the name of the game here with uh meme coins guys do we even classify floki as a meme coin let me know what you think in the comment section below because lately floki has basically um, in my opinion, evolved to something that has some fundamentals. It's not just based on mean culture, which is obviously a great culture, but fundamentals give it utility, give it a bit of a backbone just in case we do see retracements and so on and so forth. So pretty good stuff. Let me know what you think um, in the comment section below. Let's continue going down. We have core looking pretty good and the market in general is looking pretty nice. We're up pretty much 5% give or take on the market. Obviously, there's some more gainers, bigger gainers like Jasmine did very well. Nice break to the upside a bit of a retracement but jasmine's up 33 percent in seven days today of it uh, today is just about 13 and a half percent but it's still really really good so about five percent on average i would say on average we're up five percent the market's looking great great primed for continuation very likely and i remain bullish as long as bitcoin and ethereum continue showing us um green and continue leading the way to the upside all right guys i know you're here to talk about charts so let's begin let's begin looking at bitcoin we'll use it as a leading indicator so we can kind of gauge what the general market will be doing based on bitcoin because if bitcoin keeps on showing this type of strength we could expect that the overall market is going to continue showing strength including ethereum and all the other altcoins in the meantime we see bitcoin kind of going sideways here still within a structure and now maybe within a smaller structure that could give us a great pattern for a move to the upside so let's look at this in a little bit more detail honestly like bitcoin being very patient with bitcoin is probably the best thing you could have done in the last little while because really bitcoin wasn't very very important or it didn't really give us a majority of like a lot of gains in the in, within this consolidation however if you track the market and you used bitcoin as a leading indicator you would have got in at great entries right around this level guys and now we are at another level that i'm keeping my eye on and i'm gonna input i'm gonna put a green arrow right into here and I know, um, generally speaking, I, I keep green and red arrows, but I'm not going to put a, a green or red arrow into this. I'm going to make it yellow just because I find like this area to be super, super important. I won't necessarily suggest that this would be a great buy opportunity um, because really what we're trying to do is form a bit of a structure here. And that structure is going to be painting a very nice picture for us if you're a bull because it's going to start looking like a nice cup and handle, nice rounded bottom and maybe a nice consolidation here. Yes, you could go long. Yes, you could by the dip yes you can get in from a healthy risk to reward ratio by putting a stop loss underneath these wicks at about sixty six thousand three hundred and fifty dollars give or take but if we continue consolidating and your strategy was to buy the dip here at the green arrow where i suggested and you bought altcoins and you bought maybe some bitcoin some ethereum you know what happened what has been happening with ethereum you know what bitcoin has been doing and you know what some of those bullish altcoins including solana even solana has been doing fairly well in the last little while so ultimately the market has been really Really, really green since bitcoin got its bounce at about sixty thousand six hundred. however guys is bitcoin looking for the breakout is bitcoin looking for the extension are we going to see bitcoin hit 84 are we going to see bitcoin hit 120 do we have the retail market here coming in bringing a bit of volume guys all of that is very very possible but at the end of the day this starting to look like a very serious bull flag for a continuation to the upside in the meantime i am still waiting on bitcoin to resolve i'm still figuring out what's going to be happening the momentum didn't get it into overbought conditions and the battle continues right around this area between volatility and momentum it looks like the volatility is going to get a u-turn as i mentioned yesterday that it could be possible because we do see the momentum in an upwards uh, trajectory which means that it's looking for overbought 
spot conditions and that means that the volatility could stay up here a little longer so we see an expansion moving green expansion similar to what's been happening here obviously look at that imagine if we get a major green expansion to the upside bitcoin could definitely start breaking out and hitting those really bullish price targets okay guys so that's what i'm keeping my eye on the trend emas are facing up green instagram bars the expansion to the upside is still there although we are getting a bit of pale purple um all of a sudden suggesting a pivot i still feel like this could be a slight fake out um, there's nothing really convincing me at this current moment that this bullish divergence completed its follow-through to the upside so it could be that we're just beginning here guys just beginning all right guys uh, that's my take on bitcoin i think bitcoin at the current moment could be looking for that breakout i all, honestly also feel that if bitcoin continues going sideways within this handle within a cup and handle or bull flag if you want to call it impulsive move sideways consolidation and continuation if we go sideways a little longer here we could expect an altcoin season where all coins definitely flourish they start running and we have some green green bags in the altcoin market so what do we do here we start looking for entries and i think layer ai is in a, a great great position given the fact that its risk to war ratio is absolutely healthy guys i did talk about this project in the past um i would say maybe about a month ago maybe a little less but generally speaking it's been hanging out here in this bottom giving us lots of time lots of confirmation and confidence within the confluence of this price chart now ultimately you guys know i wait for structure now we have structure now we have evidence we have lots of data to go by and basically based on what i've been saying in the past looking for those horizontal supports the top of this volume gap at about 2.5 cents is definitely holding up so we can put a bit of you know confidence in the fact that we will as of now we're not coming down lower than the 2.5 cent mark now if we do we have a volume gap we have weakness as you can see we got previous highs that we got to deal with we got all, all of this that we are currently dealing with at this current moment you know for that high so this high this high and all of this price action down here is based on a lot of accumulation that happened within the bear market lows at the bottom of the range and all these individuals most likely started taking profits and selling off into this you know dip now all of a sudden are the sellers is done it's likely that the sellers are done and on everybody else is long-term bullish long-term holders and at the end of the day we are considering now buying the dip and accumulating for that next move to the upside whether it's a higher high lower high double top it doesn't matter ultimately right now we're trying to get a great entry and if you look at what's happening price action is king we're making lower lows i get it and over here we made a slightly higher low based on the a trend but still not a, a higher low in reference to the previous low it's just overall you can see that the the a trend the move to the downside is slowly not touching these lines which means that we could be pivoting now all of a sudden that we got a higher low and the higher low in fact is kind of respecting the 200 daily ema which keeps me very very bullish now another thing that we have to consider is that there's tons of market participation in here lots of volume lots of individuals getting in into positions and as we make these this consolidation and we contract right into the zone bouncing off the 200 daily and getting you know a bit rejected off the 50 ema means that eventually we are looking for an expansion now i feel like the edge is to this upside given the way the market looks bitcoin looking great ethereum looking great the bitcoin dominance falling a little bit and perhaps continuing its descent to much lower levels the overall conditions in the market are primed for altcoins to start catching up to bitcoin and this is why i assume that this is a great opportunity for from a risk reward ratio that we could put a stop loss right underneath these lows and start looking for targets to the upside so accumulation range we are in it above the 200 daily we are good so let's look at the momentum momentum at the end of the day is trekking to the upside we got bullish divergence into this price action let's zoom in a little bit let's make this a bit bigger and you can see that ultimately as the price was coming down with these lower lows we were making higher lows in the momentum and the volatility was trekking to the upside with some confidence here now we've came down we're potentially getting a bit of a bounce maybe we continue to this to the upside with this trajectory and we can start seeing some green expansion now we do see a little red coming back in but this is pretty much done given the fact that we got some green candles to the upside so i'm hoping that we get that green expansion similarly to how we see ethereum and bitcoin and all many other altcoins starting to get that green expansion so we're fairly early 
within this pivot point because we're still getting the bullish divergence we are currently uh, battling to achieve that higher low now all we need is a higher high to get that change of character we're looking for a change of character so we'll talk about the price action and the setup in a second now let's look at momentum momentum is looking sorry the trend the trend is looking great we got the bullish divergence lower lows on the price action higher lows on the expansions of the trend so that means that the bears are showing weakness also on the trend and we're looking for that reversal i would like to see some purple expansion for the trend to the upside with a lot more strength similar to what happened right into here and we are currently looking like it's primed to, for that to happen we see the ema slowly trekking to the upside to try to uh, get into the bullish control zone when that does happen we can see that the bulls will definitely be in control and that way we can see the purple expansion and overall see this trend pivot from a downward sloping uh, trend to an upward sloping trend let's go back into the price action and see what we got so we're making lower lows and lower highs as of now it looks like we're trying to make that pivot and maybe make a higher low and then maybe a higher high but until then we have to understand that the trend is our friend we're still downward sloping the bullish divergence the horizontal support are all greatest great indications that the bears are weak and that this level could be that rounded level where we start rounding over and start moving to the upside. So what I will be doing is looking for invalidations of my bullish thesis. And the validation has to be right around here, which is at about 2.5 cents. And if you get a trade setup going and you look for your entry and you look for your stop loss and we put it right around more or less. Sorry, guys, right around here. Um, maybe let's make it right around here. We start to look at, OK, it's still a two to one. And really, we didn't do much. We, I didn't even change um, the setup. And right here it's the one to three um and it's not a really good look but we're looking for a breakout out of this channel right out of this descending type of consolidation we're looking for a bullish breakout eventually and then we start looking for bullish targets now let's use fibonacci to kind of give us a bit of confluence i do visually based on volume i like this zone for getting defensive a little bit i do expect a bit of a reaction right into here so for now we'll keep that into there and then above i'm expecting once we break above let's say here which is very vague maybe around here let's be real maybe around here we're going to start really getting into price discovery now if we get fibonacci and we go swing high to swing low and we kind of snipe those bottoms we look at the 0.5 fib very confluent with this level 0.5 fib golden pocket obviously based on this spike and then the 786 is quite interesting to me as well as you can see there's a bit of confluence almost spot on okay based on the visuals and the volume that we got here 886 honestly we're talking about previous highs they're very low volume in there i know it's a very psychological level because of the previous high but given the fact that the market is looking for a bull run and it's looking for an altcoin season it's very likely that we start breaking previous highs so what am i looking at here let's uh, let's um look at the 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 win rate here the the ratio just getting out at the 0.5 fib looking at a three to one and you're up 77 percent sacrificing 26 percent so position size matters here guys don't get into a big position size because ultimately if we do roll over and come down to your invalidation and knock your and, and basically stops you out be prepared that you're going to take a 26 percent hit okay so your position size does affect now if you're going with leverage just understand that your leverage will multiply your position size and and not only that you will have a liquidation point so you got to make sure that you don't get over leveraged to the point that you cannot handle the volatility and ultimately on the way up just don't be greedy take a bit of profits trail up a stop loss well into profits at least at the breakout zone which is at about four cents at that level if it breaks above trail up that stop loss right around four cents maybe slightly below so that you're protected those gains you're protecting those gains obviously and then right around here just let this run you take a bit of profits maybe 10 percent off the top and let it go for another high let it go continue going maybe we get a bit of a, a dip and continuation and now you're up 138 percent at this point you might consider taking half on the double you might consider taking your initial investment off the table and that way it's a risk-free trade for the entire bull run you take your initial investment you take your capital and you hunt for another entry on another altcoin that is at the bottom of the range with a healthy risk to reward ratio that's the way you rotate guys that's the way you find those opportunities and you keep yourself out of risk way out of harm's way with regards to risk because risk is public enemy number one guys if i've offered you any value in this video video do the channel a massive favor and slap the like button it does really help out with the algorithm if you want to follow me on the socials the links are in the description below feel free to join the discord guys the discord is where it's at lots of good alpha trade setups fundamentals and learning material take care guys have a good one and don't forget buy the dip